Okay, now the other type of straight problem, you have one on your own to do in the very back. Uh, these, I didn't, I forgot to staple these double sided. It's the very last problem. You need to put inches down there. Okay, and away we go. This is a different type of problem. It's not a motion problem, so there's going to be no graph. You have a 10 by 9 foot garden, as you can see. You add a uniform walkway around the garden. It means it's the same on every side. The area is 306 square feet. Find the width of the walkway. Okay. So, you know that your area is 306. So, it's equal to 306, the area. Now, the area is the length times the width, you know. Don't put that right beside it. Just make a little tiny note there. So, we got to find what the length times the width is by this picture. Okay. So, the length, I got 10 and then double x on each side and then I got 9 and double x so the width the length is 2x because there's two of them plus 10 and then 2x plus 9. Now I need to distribute I need to take 2x times 2x then I go back to the 2x and take 2x times 9 and then that 2x is done now I still have a 10 to distribute and the same two things okay now, when you're multiplying x's, you want powers there so you can see what they are. So 2 times 2 is 4, but I have to add the powers to get 2. That's 18x to the 1, and that's 20x to the 1st, and that's 90. Okay. So these two would go together, so I go blank x squared plus blank x plus blank. So I have 4x to the 2nd. Put those together, 18 and 20, that's 38, and then I have 90. And that's now what I can put down here, 4x a second plus 30x, 8x plus 90. Okay, now there are two answers, because you have x to the second, because now it's just a regular problem. And you also got x to the first, so you got to do the set boxes method. You're not going to be able to do x squared equals x equals. But you're not set. You want a zero there, so you have to set this yourself. So x second, you got 4. x, you got 38. Now these two have to be combined, but we have to have a zero here. So that's the one I get out of here. So I'm minus 306 and minus 306 from 90. So it's 90 minus 306, and that's negative 216. Now I see my three terms clear as day, and I set up my GCF and my chart. Okay, The chart does not fail in this packet, Okay, so you will not use this. You'll find something. you got to go through your chart. Okay, the, Now we don't need the negative because the 4 in the front is positive. And X, I have one here, here, but not here. Now I find what the GCF out of 438 and 216 is. And I got 2. Okay, so 2. Just 2, though. You don't have to mess around with the X's here. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, X to the second. 38 divided by 2 is 19, X. Then I divide negative 216 by 2, and that's negative 108. And that's my ABC. But I'm actually going to take my A times my C here because it, th these don't fail. I got negative 216. So I get a negative, so that's a minus trying to come out to 19, which is positive. 1 and 216, no. 2 and 108. Divide by 2, you get 108. That's not 19. After 2 comes 3. So what's 216 divided by 3? 72. Okay, 72 minus 3 isn't 19. 4 and 54. 54 minus 4 is 50. I divide by 5, I get a decimal. So after 
5 comes 6. 36 minus 6 is not 19. 7 is a decimal. After 7 comes 8. I've got 27. So I'm going to take 27 minus 8 and find out what that is. If it's 19, it is. Okay, so those are the two I go with. So 27 needs a plus sign. And the negative means the signs are opposite. Okay, now your a, your a equals 2x to the second power. So when I make my parentheses, I start off with 2x and 2x, and then the minus 8 and the plus 27. Then I rook up the GCF out of 2 and 8. It's 2. Okay, so I divide these by 2, and that becomes 1x minus 4. Okay, 2 and 27 is 1, okay? So that stays 2x plus 27. Now, at the end here, I do want to drop this 2 down, but since it doesn't have an x in there, okay, I'm taking it from here to here, I don't put an f label. With f1, f2 are right here, equals 0. So 1x minus 4 could equal 0, or 2x plus 27 is 0. And then I dot my x variables, circle them. I add 4. That's 4, and I don't really need to divide by 1. Okay, So 4 is the first answer. And then I minus 27. So 0 minus 27 is negative 27. And then I divide by my 2 because it's a 2, not a 1. That changes it. It's negative 13.5. Now, 4 is the one I want to write over there because that's the real answer, 4 feet. That's how long we're going to build it. 4 feet here, 4 feet here, 4, 4. That gives me the area of 306. Okay, a rectangular trivet has an 8-inch by 6-inch center and a wooden uniform border. The area is 120 inches squared. How wide is the border? Okay. So again, that's the area. So the area is the length times the width. Okay. So I need to set up an equation with my length and width. And I have 8 and then 2 side axes, 6, 2 side axes. So the length is 2x plus 8 and the width is 2x plus 6. So now I multiply this. First I distribute the 2. I just drew two rainbows. And I'm going to multiply that by uh, two x and by six. Then eight times two x and eight times six. So one 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 one. So it's four x to the second. 1 plus 1, 12x to the first, 16x to the first, because that, and then 48. And those two in the middle are like terms. So I got 4x to the second. I put those together to get 28, and then I get 48. So that's what the length times width equals. That's the product of the length and the width. Remember, my job is to find what that x is. Okay. Okay, so x has two answers because it's to the second power again. And you've also got an x to the first, so you got to do the set boxes method. Okay. So x second, you got 4, you got 28x. Now we've got to combine these two, but this has to, you can't just add them when they're on different sides. You have to subtract, and you're going to minus the 120 because that's where you want the zero at. 48 minus 120 is negative 72. So now I see my three terms and I can go to work, GCF and table. Okay, so negative x GCF. I don't need the negative. I don't need x because 72 doesn't have it. 
and then 428 and 72. Okay, that's four. So I got four as my GCF. Okay, so that becomes 1x to the second plus 7x and then my negative 18, so minus 18. Okay, so I take the a times the c, the shape, these don't fail, so I take 1 times negative 18, that's negative 18. So that's a minus problem, trying to get to 7 positive. 1 and 18, nope. Now after 1 comes 2, put 2 and 9. And 9 minus 2 is 7. So you got plus 7, so plus 9. We have a negative 18, so the signs would have to be opposite. And my a is just 1x to the second this time. So I go 1x minus 2 and 1x plus 9. Okay, the GCF here is 1, so if you divide by 1, it'll just stay the same. And the GCF here is 1, so that'll just stay the same. Now I'd drag my 4 down, okay, from here to here, but since there's no X on it, I don't put the F label. Okay, F1, F2 right here equals 0. Okay, so 1X minus 2 equals 0. 1x plus 9 equals 0. Dot your x, so plus 2, and you get 2, and you can just delete the 1 because it'll still be 2. Minus 9, minus 9, that's negative 9, and you can just delete the 1 because it'll just be negative 9. So 2 is the one I put over here. I have found that these x's are worth 2 inches. Okay, last one I'm going to go over. A rectangular pool has dimensions of 40 by 20 feet. Okay, a uniform border is added around the walkway, creating an area of 1,125 square feet. Find the width of the border. So here's the border. X 40, 20. And then I use that area down here. Okay, and I have to find the product of the length and the width. Of a, that's how you find the area of a rectangle. So I have 2x plus 40 and 2x plus 20. Okay, so I take the 2x and distribute. And I'll be timesing it by the other 2x and then by 20. Then the 40, same thing. Remember, when you're multiplying variables, you want to make sure you have powers. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 20 is 40, and then x to the first. 40 times 2 is 80, with x to the first. And 40 times 20 is 800. Okay. So now I simplify that. So x second, we got 4. 40 plus 80 is 120, and then you got 800. So that's what my length times width is. Okay, so my x is to the second power. You also have x to the first, so we use the set boxes method. Okay, so set it, it's not set. So that's why you have to do it. That's just an extra step you're going to have to look at on this. So you got 4, 120, and then these go together, but we want the 0 here. So this is the one I have to get rid of, minus 1,125, because that would be 0, minus 1,125. 800 minus 1,125 is negative 325. And then I go to my table, GCF, and then my table, and then I will find the X. Okay, again, the negative is not needed because it's a 4. 
X won't be needed because that third one space doesn't have it. And unfortunately, when I go four, well, maybe not unfortunately, 120 and 325, the GCF is just um, oh, it's four, I guess. Okay. No, it's not. There's no way. GCF's one on that. Okay. All right. So we don't do it. So I ABC from the top, and I take 4 times negative 325. That's negative 1,300. I'm actually going to help you out a little bit on this. Minus has to be 120. You would not find anything until you divide that by 10. Okay, I don't want to waste more time. So it's 10 and 130, because 130 minus 10 is 120. I would not have you do one like this on your own, okay? Don't want to torture you. So you got plus 130, then opposite, minus 10. Okay, so my A up there is 4x to the second. So when I make my parentheses, I'm going to break the x factor down into 4x, 4x, and then minus 10, plus 130, okay? Okay, so the GCF out of 4 and 10 is 2. So we divide this down by 2, and that becomes 2x minus 5. Then 4 and 30, 4 and 130. The GCF's 2. That's 2x plus uh, 65. Okay. Now again, I didn't put anything here, so there's nothing to drop. Okay. F1, F2. So 2 times x minus 5 could equal 0, or the 2x plus 65 could equal 0. So in either case, I dot the x, circle it, so I add 5, and that's 5. And then I divide 5 by 2, and that's 2.5. Okay, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Then I minus 65. 0 minus 65 is negative 65. I'm going to divide by 2. Negative 65 divided by 2. Negative 32.5. Okay. Now obviously 2.5 is a higher answer, so that's the one I'm going to put.